Hey guys, Titanium J52 here with a review of Ninjago set 70669, Cole's Earth Driller. This is a Ninjago Legacy set that came out in winter 2019. Contains 587 pieces, 4 minifigs, and retails for $50 in the United States. Let's get a look at these minifigs first. First up we have Cole here, if it would focus. There we go. Cole is armed with the new Scythe of Quakes variant, which is a really nice variant in my opinion. Looks really good, and I love the use of the uh, Dragon Bone Blade piece that they uh, released last year for Hunted. But um, here's Cole. He's got this really nice ninja suit. This is the second cheapest set that he comes in. The cheapest set is a $10 set, so if you're just after the Cole minifig, Probably better to go after go and get that set, but uh, this is still a pretty good fig. I actually really like Cole's suit this time around, and um, it looks really nice. And then he has two expressions, which are the Ninjago movie Cole expressions that aren't focusing, but I'm sure you guys have seen those uh, plenty of times before. Uh, next up we have Kai. He's armed with two silver katanas. I'm also just going to take Cole's weapon off for now. And um, he's wearing his legacy suit as well. If it would focus, please focus. There we go. Um, I think he has some, some really nice printing. It's a lot of bright red. Not really much done with the darker red other than on the hood. But I do like the hood piece. The new hood pieces are great. He's got the Ninjago movie face for Kai, and then some nice back printing. Overall, a good figure. He comes in four other sets, uh, I believe three of which are cheaper than this one. So again, if you're going for the ninja, it's not really too too ideal price-wise. But um, next up, we get into the exclusive figs. This is the Stone Army Warrior. Um, he is all new in printing. Um, this torso print also comes in the Golden Dragon set with the Stone Army Scout, but the leg print is exclusive to this set. Um, he has this uh, new shoulder armor piece in red and a bit of a different take on the uh, Stone Warrior helmet piece using the uh, Samurai X helmet piece, and if you remove it, you can see he's got green head printing. And then on the back, he's got uh, more armor printing, which looks really good. Um, overall, probably my favorite minifig from this set. Uh, definitely a highlight. And then finally, we have a Stone Army Scout, armed with a stud shooter crossbow. But really, he's the size, the leg size, rather, of a Stone Army Swordsman. And um, this time around, he comes with a uh, the new red hat piece introduced for the movie. It's in red now. And he has an exclusive yellow face. The uh, green face on the other Stone Warrior, on the actual Stone Warrior, was also on the Stone Army Scout in the Golden Dragon. But um, this face is exclusive. And he's got the same printing as the Warrior that we just looked at. So overall, a good figure. Um, now let's get into the builds. First off, we'll get into the Giant Stone Warrior. This is the first time this guy's actually appearing in giant form. He appeared in minifig form in a prison outfit in Cryptarian Prison Breakout, but this is a much better version. He's in a uh, big fig scale with the forearms. His uh, head can rotate um, all the way around, actually. Um, his uh, helmet that's built into the head. Uh, looks really, really nice. I really like the design they did for that. Um, he's got some nice armor printing on the front. Four articulating arms, small ball joint here, and then uh, Technic for the hands. And then for the legs, they can move up and down. Uh, something that I don't really like is this blue piece in here. I think they could have easily made that black, but um, usually you're not going to see the bottom of the feet but I have a feeling that like some people aren't really going to like it too much at all. But it's a pretty easy it's pretty easy to fix too. So, it's not too bad. 
and then um, it's got some sticker detailing. Most of what you'll see here is uh, stickers. Fortunately, the head print is not. That is a that is a great piece. This um, half cylinder piece that they used is wonderful. And then the hands, two of them are just empty hands, probably for like grabbing minifigs or the earth driller. And then the top two hands have uh, swords in them that are built into the hands. And so that way the giant stone warrior can attack um, other people, maybe mechs, get a few mechs in there. Uh, the arm builds are all the same though. And uh, yeah, here's the back, not too much to see here. But they don't have any, like, exposed colors back here either, so not really any complaints from me. Just uh, not too much detail. So, yeah, overall, I think the Giant Stone Warrior is, real, is a really great inclusion. Definitely a highlight in the set. But uh, let's move on to the Earth Driller. Clear this stuff out of the way. The Earth Driller is, um... It's a remake of Ninjago set 70502, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, this one is much larger. This uh, canopy piece is printed. Really nice print. I'm really happy with that. And it will seat two minifigs this time. Uh, the Earth Driller in the TV show uh, sat seven minifigs, a driver, and six passengers. And so... The original version only sat one minifig. I'm glad this one can sit more than one at least. It's uh, better than nothing, and I really like it. But uh, they fit in there nicely. There's uh, stud shooters on the other side, something that was not present in the original Earth Driller. And um, the main function of this is that it can drill. You roll it back and forth and it can drill, but also if you just want it to drill, you can hold it here and you can still drill without moving the wheels, which I thought was a really good function. Um, the front wheels are rubber, while the back wheels are more of a uh, plastic piece. And uh, these don't always roll, that most of the time they do, but occasionally they just kind of sit there and stick. But I like, I do like the fact that uh, these are plastic and not rubber, and um, this may be a headphone warning a little bit, but it makes it so that you can slide it around a bit and uh, make sharp turns with the earth driller, which I think is a really good feature. Not something I don't think the designers intended, but uh, it came out right and really looks good. Um, we got the drill up front. It's basically the same drill build as the original earth driller, including some of the technique behind it. It does have this little tip that was not present on the previous Earth Driller. Um, here we've got kind of some of the engines, a bit of blades, a bit of armor, and then the cockpit here, along with some rock detailing. They use these pieces, which is really nice. And then back here we have these larger blade pieces in gold. I believe they first appeared in black for the Sons of Garmadon wave. That's where I remember first seeing them. And now they've appeared here in gold, which looks really nice. Back here we've got like the drill part, which has some nice detailing here, and then the back part with the engine. They also have clips for Kai's swords, or maybe Cole's scythe, whatever you want to put in there. Underneath, it's not too pretty. There's a lot of bright Technic elements. Not too big of a fan of that, but um, it's not a huge deal. And because most of the time you're not going to be looking at this upside down or anything it's you're not usually gonna have this flipped over if you do want it to like crash or whatever I suggest like having it on its side like this or something but um but yeah most of the time you're not gonna be looking at the bottom so I don't really have any complaints about that but uh yeah overall I think the earth driller is really nice and definitely definitely a good remake but um overall that's uh that's it for the set um let me get Kai and Cole out of here, but um, uh, overall I think this is a really good remake, definite improvement over the previous Earth Driller, uh, in look, in function, everything. Um, uh, the minifigs are also really good, two ninja, two stone army warriors that are exclusive, I think is decent. Uh, ninja aren't exclusive, but that's not a big deal. To me, I don't feel like you buy this set solely for the ninja minifigs. 
not a not a more expensive set like this one. And um, the Giant Stone Warrior, another great inclusion. Um, they definitely do a really really good job making the Giant Stone Warrior. I have very little complaints about this set. Shift the camera over here so you guys can get more of a front view of it. But um, I don't really have any complaints. Not too much. Just a few small things. The uh, Stone Warrior's feet. Um, maybe the Technic underneath the Earth Driller. But that's really it. Um, I think this is a really decent set. And if you like the Earth Driller, if you like the Giant Stone Warrior, then I definitely recommend that you buy this set. Especially if it's on sale. But, um, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Um, if you like this review, then feel free to give it a like. And uh, comment down below uh, what your thoughts are about the Earth Driller and the Giant Stone Warrior and all that's included in the set. Do you agree with my opinions? Do you have a different feeling about it? Uh, let me know. And uh, subscribe if you're interested in my content. Uh, but that's all for this video. This is TitaniumJ52. See you guys in the next one.